Meanwhile, the new Transport Department boss at the centre of the Jobs for the Boys accusations was ducking questions about the job today. Michael Caltabiano was addressing a bus industry conference. It was Michael Caltabiano's first public engagement as one of Campbell Newman's top bureaucrats and he was quick to enforce the Premier's commitment to cut costs in the public service. I intend in this department to revisit all advertising that we do across the state of Queensland. The new transport boss was just as keen to adopt the policy of media silence. Never shy of speaking out in his previous political life, he fended away questions regarding his qualifications for the job. I'm uh, very pleased to be Director General of the Department and um, yeah, look forward to representing my department. It was a minor distraction from the conference's dominant issue, that of child safety. The bus industry again calling for action against children being left alone at bus stops, a problem that's been highlighted ever since the abduction of Daniel Morecambe. We'll have anyone else experience that. Um, that's why we need to address this issue and, and stop it happening again. And they say placing the blame at the feet of bus drivers is misplaced. The problem needs to be solved at a community level. Except that we have an issue and as a community be mature enough to say we need to tackle it as a community. The council also took a swipe at the carbon tax. I'm, I'm anti-carbon tax because the, the bus and coach industry uh, is part of the solution to reducing congestion. They claim it will inevitably raise ticket prices. On the Gold Coast, Simon Hooper, 10 News.